For our next experiment, we are going to know, learn about acids and bases. So, we have many things in our house that are classified as acids or bases. Now, there is something called the pH, which determines whether a substance is acidic or basic. Now, let me give you just an overview about that. If the pH of a substance is below 7, then it is an acid. That is, the substance is acidic in nature. If the pH number is above 7, then the substance is basic. That is, it is a base. And for water, the pH value is 7. So, water is neutral. It is neither acidic nor basic. So, let me tell you once again, we are going to see about acids and bases. And to classify them, we use the pH value. If the pH value is below 7, it is an acid. If the pH value of the substance is above 7, then it is a base. If the pH value is equal to 7, then it is neutral. And water is the neutral substance. So, to indicate whether a substance is an acid or a base, in theory, we use the pH value. In an experiment, you would use what is called an indicator. An indicator tells you whether a substance is an acid or a base. So, shall we start our experiment? For this experiment, you will need three glass bowls. You will need three glass bowls. Then you will need some grape juice. Just a little bit is enough. So grape juice, vinegar, baking soda. You can also use ammonia here. So you will need baking powder, some water and you can also use a spoon if necessary. So I have given you things that you have at home. So some of these are some of the examples of acids and bases that you have at home. So shall we find out which of these substances are acids and which of these substances are bases? So let us begin. So now in glass, in our bowls, in bowl A, I'm pouring water. In bowl B, I'm pouring vinegar. And in bowl C, I'm putting a little bit of baking powder mixed with water. So I'm using baking powder mixed with water. So it is baking powder solution. Now in this experiment, the grape juice is going to act as an indicator. So the grape juice is going to tell us whether the substance is an acid or a base. Now I'm adding a little of the grape juice into each of these bowls.
Now let us see what happens when I add my indicator in all the three glasses. So the diluted grape juice in this experiment acts as the indicator. So what is an indicator? An indicator is a substance that indicates whether a solution is acidic or basic. When it is mixed with a base, it turns green or blue. And when mixed with an acid, it turns red. The solution in glass C, that is the third glass, turns blue because it is a base. We added baking soda, which is a base, so it turned into a bluish green color. When we added the indicator in glass B, it turned red. Why did this happen? This is because vinegar is acidic. So the grape juice indicator turns, the as, uh, turns red when you add it in an acidic solution and it turns bluish green when you add it in a basic solution. So now, did you understand the difference between an acidic solution and a basic solution? And when we added our indicator in water, which is neutral, it did not change its color. It just got diluted. So, what did we learn in this experiment? We learned how to use grape juice as an indicator of acid and bases. So, when the indicator, grape juice indicator is added in a base, it turns blue or green. And when it is added in an acid, it turns red. So, you also learnt about the pH values. So, if the pH is less than 7, it is an acid. If the pH value is greater than 7, it is a base. Now, Different indicators give different color changes. So, I have showed you the color change for grape juice as an indicator. There are other substances that can be used as indicators and they show completely different color changes. So, I hope you have understood how to differentiate between an acid and a base using grape juice as an indicator.